Let's start the app and our app is started now on 8000 port and look at that our stock analyzer AI agent is ready so we'll do an stock analysis for Nvidia and my app have called this API that we have created just a few moments before it has started the agent and this agent is powered by Olama running in my local so this is running with absolutely no cost as you can see the status is now analysis complete and we should be able to see that there now we have got a new AI agent framework using which you can create AI agents as API service easily and sell these APIs in different marketplace even better you can create your own SaaS application powered by these AI agent APIs and create interesting SaaS businesses if the idea sounds really exciting to you, then let's explore in this full tutorial video. Hi, my name is Avijit. You are watching Know Together, where I try to simplify latest tech and innovations for your future and your business. Let's get started. Welcome back. This full tutorial can really make you empowered enough to actually bring your dream SaaS idea into reality using the power of AI agents. So. This video will have four sections as usual to my other videos. First, we will talk briefly about the AI agent framework called True AI. In the second section, we will create a very simple AI agent using this framework so you get to know and understand each component in a better way. In the third section, we will take a more complex example and create a really sophisticated AI agents with different tools integrated into it. Finally, in the fourth section, we will make the complex AI agents available as an API and also create a very simple UI with this API working and make a really useful SaaS application using this AI agent framework. The AI agent framework that we will discuss in this video is True AI. And this is, in my opinion, much, much simpler than Autogen framework. If you are really new to the AI agent space, I already have covered a video about Autogen. I will attach the link in the description. So have a look at how Autogen works or how in general AI agent works. I think True AI is much, much more simplistic and easy to implement AI agent framework. So in true AI, the concept is you create a crew, which could be a combination of multiple agent and their task put together and they will work together to solve a problem. They have introduced a new feature called process into it. So the process is more sort of like a project manager, how it kind of delegates the work. It defines which agent will be called when to do what task, how the agents will interact with each other and how the agent will perform their task. At the moment, the only process they have still implemented is sequential but they are coming with more advanced process consensual or hierarchical and i am interested to see these approaches at the moment each task will be handled in a sequential order by the process so basically you will define a couple of agents then you define task and then you will start the crew which is the combination of agents and task and then you kick off your crew so the crew will work together and work on the task to to get you the end goal although the crew ai is really new to this block it has already got over 3,400 star. So you can see this project is really loved by many, many developers. And also the founder of QAI, Zhao, have his own YouTube channel where he regularly creates videos about how you can create QAI to create different interesting flow. So please make sure to subscribe to his channel as well. In fact, this video is inspired by one of his complex AI agent implementation and the video that he has created in his channel. So please give a star to this GitHub and also subscribe to his channel. And thanks to Jao for creating QAI as well as creating his YouTube channel. In the next section, we'll create a really simple example with QAI so you understand each and every term associated with QAI and how it all works together. I am so glad that you are still here. It really takes a lot of effort for an introvert like me to speak in front of the camera and make this video. It would really motivate me if you could hit the subscribe button and support my work. So with that said, let's proceed with the next section. So I have come into my project root directory and I will create a folder called QAI. Go inside the folder. This step we are creating the Python environment named QAI test. So we have now activated our environment. In the next step, we will install the QAI package. So QAI package also contains all the necessary sub modules that it requests to run. For example, Langchain and different tools. We will use the simple example provided in the GitHub page to run through its different component and explain you how it is working. So I am going to create a file here. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'll do import the QAI agent, task, view, and process. We will explain each of this component as we progress and create this simple AI agent implementation. Next, we will import Olama. Now, this is a little bit different than the example shown because we are not going to use OpenAI for the example. We will use our locally hosted large language model to make the AI agent completely free. Next, we are importing from Langchain tools, DuckDuckGo search run. Langchain actually provides a lot of LLM implementation, a lot of different tools, functions, 
and embedding functions and everything that you can use in your own AI projects. You can check uh, all the details about Langchain from this website. I will attach this link in the video description so you can have a look. Next, we'll create our LLM and we're using the OpenChat module for this demo. You can use any other model that you are running with Olama. If you're really new to large language model and want to know how to run it locally, I already have covered about how to run multiple large language models using Olama in a previous video. I will attach that in the description. Please have a look at that video. Now it's time to create the agents. So the first agent that we are creating is a researcher agent. So this is his role. This is the goal and this is the backstory. This is more sort of a system prompt that you would usually use with any AI agent implementation or maybe AI API crawling. We said verb is true true, so we'll be able to see the log. You can set it to false. There is a specific parameter called allow delegations. So allow delegation allow the agent to delegate the task or communicate regarding the task with other agents. So in this case, we are setting it to false. And then we are giving tools to this agent that it can use. So we are giving it a search tool. So basically for the research analyst to research on a specific topic, it can use the search tool. That means it can use the DuckDuckGo browser, search whatever it needs to search, and then use the result to do its research. We are using the Olama Open Chat model, which is locally hosted for this agent to work. Now, if this is all makes sense to you, I'll create another agent very quickly. So I've created another agent, which is a writer agent. So this agent is doing the research and this writer agent will actually create the content. Now it's time to create the task. First task is conduct a comprehensive analysis of this is the topic, the latest advancement in AI in 2024, blah, blah, blah. And we are assigning this task to this agent called researcher agent. Now, similarly, we create another task. So this is saying using the insights from the researcher report, which is done in this task one, it will create an engaging blog post. And this is assigned to the writer agent. We have now created our agent and task. So the next step is to create the crew. We are basically creating the crew where we have said, this is the crew, this is the agents available to this crew. And these are the tasks that needs to be performed by this crew. We specified the process to be sequential. So that means once the task one is completed, then only task two will be executed. Now, as I said before, they're also working on two different type of process. One is a consensual process, whereas the crew will do some kind of voting within itself, then promote a task and work on that task. And finally, we will kick off our crew to do the work. So if this is all makes sense to you, let's now go and run this agent. This should actually run the crew, uh, do the research and then create a blog post. So one quick corrections that you have to make if you are using this example is here. It's setting verbose as two. Now they have made verbose to be Boolean. So it can be either true or it can be false. So I'll set it to false for now. Let's rerun it. And there you go. It has created the blog uh, based on the research that it has done. So it has done the DuckDuckGo research and then it got the final answer. And then using that answer, the tech content agent is writing this blog. And you can see this blog here in the end. Please note that I was running this using my locally hosted large language model with just 7 billion parameter. But the better model you would use with these agents, the better output that you will get. Now in this section, we are going to use one of the example complex agent that Zhao have already created here as part of the crew AI project. We're going to take a look at this talk analysis crew and we'll run this crew and see how it works with our locally hosted large language model. Now, first thing first, what you'll have to do is clone this repository. Now I have already cloned it, so I'm not going to clone it again, but please go ahead and clone this repository. Now, once you have created the repository, you will see this crew called stock analysis. I'll quickly go through the code to make you understand how this complex agent is working. It's not really that complex. So basically this is the main.py and he has created a bunch of agents which is defined in the stock analysis.agents file he has also created the task in a separate file in the stock analysis task.py in my previous example we have created all these agents and tasks in the same file but he has basically made it more structured and so all the tasks and agents are created in a separate file now of course this is taking human input so that is where it's taking the input using the didn't module and once you run this agent it is going to ask you what company you want to do the stock analysis at input it will save it in the company variable and then it will call the financial queue function here with the company name and here you are reading the company name so it has all the agents and tasks and using that it actually is running the crew so it's basically the same thing that it is doing as we have done in our example now let's take a look at all the agents and the tasks so first thing first let's take a look at the agent like the previous example i am again going to use my locally hosted large language model so i have created the olama open chat by importing the olama langchain llm if you want to run it with open gpt you don't need to mention that because the project use a 
OpenAI LLM by default. If you do not specify this LLM attribute when you are defining the agent, it will by default use the OpenAI APIs. If the system context is basically it's a financial analyst. It has a lot of expertise in stock market analysis. Based on this system context, he has also specified the tools that the agent can have access to. So the tools are nothing but functions. So in the tools folder, you have created like the browser tools. This agent can actually access a browser and do Google search or whatever search that it needs to do for the analysis. And in this example, he is using an external service called browserless. So what you have to do is basically go to browserless.io, register yourself and get a free API key, the ENV example. Here you specify the browserless API key. Similarly, if you are using OpenAI API, you specify the OpenAI API key here. Create a copy of the CNV example and create this .env file and specify the keys there. Similarly, it also have got like the calculator tools based on the numbers that it has got from different sources. It can do different mathematical calculation that it needs to do. Now, all these tools are available in the LangChain module as I was showing earlier. If you really want me to cover LangChain deep dive, please write down in the comment and I will definitely cover a more deep dive into LangChain and its different tools that is available there. Next, it has also used the sec tools. Now, if you're not aware of sec tools, sec tool is nothing but is another service provider who give all the details about the financial filings of different companies in US mostly. You can get a free API key again from this website and save it here in this .env file. So this tech tools is basically going to that website with the API key that you will provide here and it will query and get the 10Q form and 10K form. So based on the 10Q and 10K form, it can get the latest financial details of the company that you want to run the stock analysis. That is the financial analyst agent. Then you have a research agent. The research analyst will do all the research. So it can check news, it can search internet, it can use the Yahoo Finance tool to get the latest stock data, see its performance, and then make a complete research about that particular instrument. He has also created another agent called investment advisor. So based on the financial analyst and research analyst output, this is basically going to create the investment advice for your user. If that is all makes sense, let's go to the task. So the first task is the stock analysis task. So it's basically going to collect and summarize recent news articles, press release, markets and market analysis. And the next you have got a financial analysis task. Here you get all the data related to market performance, financial health. It can probably use, I don't know, Yahoo Finance metrics uh, for that particular stock instrument. And then in the next section, he has created a filing analysis task. So basically here you get all the filing details like 10K and 10Q details. Final task is recommended. So based on all the filing news and financial health metric checks, this task will actually do the recommendation. It assigns the filing task to the financial analyst agent. It assigns the financial task to fetch all the financial details to financial analyst agent. Then it assigns the research task to the research analyst agent with the company name. Then finally, the recommend task is uh, given to the advisor agent. And then finally, you create the crew with all the agents and tasks and you pick up the crew. One of the things that you need to do before you start the project is you have to install all the dependency and you should use this command wait to install no root. And this should install all the dependency that is mentioned in this TML file. If we now run the python main.py, that should kick off our agent. So now it is asking which company you want to analyze. So let's give it Tesla and it has started the chain. This is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the video. Once it finished, I'm going to go through it quickly. So the crew have finished its work and it has created a recommendation. If you see the log, it has actually done a lot of the work. For example, it uses Yahoo Finance, search the 10Q form. Then it has got all the financial reports. After it has received all those details, the private investment advisor agent have actually made the financial recommendation. This is really interesting. So the next idea that came into my mind if what if we can actually convert this crew into an API and so that we can have a SaaS application that will call the API, which will trigger the agent to start working. And once the result is ready, we can display the result in our SaaS application. So that is what I have done in the next step. So let's proceed to our fourth and final section. Okay, so now what we will do is we'll just clear this output and we will rename the main py which comes with the project to be the old one and we have already made the code as server.py we'll just name it main.py and let me go through the code quickly there is not a lot of change so basically what i have done i created an app using first api and i added the middleware to make sure this is also accessible to the ui and then what i have done i created a static index file and it's a very simple index file this is like the h1 which is the title it's taking the company name into an input and it has a button called analyze it needs to send the company input to the api now that is all covered into this script.js where we have specified the submit button function once it is called uh, it gets the analysis form gets the company name and it assigns the company name here and it sends the request to the uh, this api now coming back to the main.py if you see i have added different routes so if you see the analysis analyze route 
what this is basically doing is it's fetching the company data from the api's post request and then it's immediately sending a message back uh, that it has started working it's spawning a background task so it's like a multi-threaded application where actually you can spawn multiple thread of this ai agent to do multiple analysis all at the same time that is why i use background task dot add task and call this run analysis function and specify the company as an argument so if you see the run analysis this is where it's basically doing what we were running previously so it's basically taking the company name i am setting the analysis status as progress in the start and then once it does all the analysis so basically at one step what it does is just run the crew and specifying the company here so it's basically calling the financial crew class with the company name and it run it and then once this is this result is finished and the end it's just writing the result into this text file which is the company name underscore latest and then it is setting the analysis status as complete it's very simple this is the main financial queue class where the magic happens so in these this status route it's basically getting the status if let's say once you hit the submit button the status will change it to in progress until the submit button is pressed with the company name it will always return not started otherwise it will only return the status which is either in progress or if it is finished it will return as complete similarly there is a result api so once the process is finished and the button will be displayed as show result once you hit that what it is basically doing is reading the company name underscore latest.txt and showing displaying that result basically in the ui now uh, this is the file that the run analysis function is saving the analysis result into i hope this is all making sense to you if you quickly take at the js file what it is doing basically it's checking the status when the status becomes complete then it will say analysis complete it will show the button to show the result in green color so let's give it a test and see how it is working okay so our app and api both are ready let's give it a test let's start the app and our app is started now on 8000 port we'll go to our browser and look at that our stock analyzer ai agent is ready so we'll do an stock analysis for nvidia and my app have all this api that we have created just a few moments before it has started the agent uh, it is starting the executed chain and this agent is powered by olama running in my local so this is running with absolutely no cost as you can see my gpu seems to be on fire because i am doing both the recording as well as my olama local model is running and it has completed the analysis as you can see the status is now analysis complete and the analysis should be saved into this text file and we should be able to see that here now you can actually create multiple such talk analysis maybe every month and you can sell it as a service or even better you can actually create such apis sell those apis as a service how cool is that if you need the code for the html the javascript as well as the changes as i made to make the agent as an api there should be a link down below to my discord server as well as to my patreon page where you can join for free and get access to all these files and as always i will make more such cool project video in the future so stay tuned subscribe to the channel take care and i'll see you on the next one bye